and welcome to lesson number three. I'm Colin Daniel from RiffNinja.com and we're working on Manish Boy Muddy Waters and we're taking it through some nice easy slow steps because I'm assuming you're a beginner. This is for a beginner. And uh, so in the first lesson we covered the basic bass riff. Then in the second lesson we covered the shuffle. One, one, two, uh, three with a power chord, right? And now we're going to add a few things, add a little spice to it. One thing we're going to add is an extra A bass note. Instead of just going A, D, C, we're going to go A, D, A, C, and then back to the A. So we have one extra A. Now this is really important with your down up picking. We have to pick the C down. We're going to stretch it. That's the other thing I'm going to add to it is a semitone stretch, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. But it's open A, D, open A, C, and then open A. And that's when you hit that last A, that's where you go to your power chord. Same timing, so you have to fit that note in. Uh, it's a little faster, right? Which is why I didn't start you with that. That's how I started. Now we're going to do this. And it's still one, two, three. Once you get that, we're going to take the C note with our second finger and we're just going to stretch it a semitone. Semitone meaning one fret, right? So you want that stretch to sound like a C sharp. Just like that. trick with the stretch, beginners always have a hard time with that, pull down and as soon as you get to the pitch you have to kill it with your right hand. Usually I use my right hand edge of the palm so it's like this, mute, and it's a subtle mute. It's hard for me to do it slow or even think about it because now it's just habit from doing this over and over. But when you first start, you have to slow it down. Mute. So in the end, the reason why you want to mute that is so it doesn't sound like a total noisy mess and all your strings are ringing out. And I like to use some crunch on it, some distortion, because I like it to be nasty. And we all know that Muddy Waters liked his guitar pretty distorted and nasty sometimes. He really, he really could play some uh, nasty slide and nasty blues um, with this distorted amp. And I like that too. I'm sure you do too. So just as a, a reminder that that's why the muting's important because when you get to the distortion, the distortion reacts differently than a clean guitar and you have to kind of practice it to get used to it. So one, two, three. boys and girls, if you like this lesson and you want to learn more, um, I've got a great course. It's called 
uh, electric blues guitar for the beginner and I go through some really slow steps just like I'm doing here for a beginner. So if you're into that, come and visit me uh, at riffninja.com and look up uh, electric guitar blues for beginners. All right, see you in the next lesson.